Of the Legion's 10 regiments, three are permanently based outside of France. One detachment is deployed in Mayotte. The 3rd Infantry is based in French Guiana. And the 13th Half Brigade has been stationed in Djibouti since 1982. The regiment consists of 800 men. Djibouti borders Eritrea, Ethiopia and Somalia and is situated on Africa's Horn by the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden with the Arabian Peninsula on the other side. Previously under French rule, it gained its independence in 1977 but France still maintains a military presence there along with American and Dutch forces because it has great strategic importance as it guards the entrance to the Suez Canal and from here troops can easily be deployed to any trouble spots in the Middle East or Central Africa. In Djibouti, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, SICAP, which offers perhaps the harshest military training that exists. The instructors and their methods are renowned and feared throughout the world. In Djibouti's hot climate and severe conditions, Legionnaires from all parts of the service train for conflicts in extreme desert situations. In combat, there is no room for failure, and the exercises are designed as intense physical and mental challenges. Faut s'accrocher avec les bras, pousser avec les jambes, et puis et puis on arrive en haut. Allez, c'est bon. Allez, laisse toi. Allez, All the training is watched over by one man, the legendary adjutant chef Marignac. Regarde, tes pieds. Écoute, écoute-moi là. Tes pieds, comme t'as du mal, t'as la hache complet, d'accord Voilà, à l'intérieur, tu les bloques à l'intérieur. Oh, c'est bon, allez, quand c'est bon, allez, descends. Allez, laisse-toi aller. C'est bon, tu descends. Tu descends par le, la corde, là, et tu rejoins le groupe au saut de Tarzan. Allez, c'est parti. Là, c'est pas évident, il hein. faut être allongé sur la tyrolienne, laisser pendre une jambe naturellement et un, jour, et un genou replier sur soi-même. Tu laisses ta jambe pendre naturellement, et en avant, et tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules. Serre pas bien ta jambe. Voilà, pourquoi Parce que le parcours, si tu serres que de tes bras, à la fin, tu es sec. Hein. Donc il faut utiliser beaucoup les jambes hein, pour conserver les bras intacts. D'accord Voilà. Mais enfin, toi, t'as pas de problème, t'as les bras. Hein T'as les bras, toi Non. Bon, il y a les bras. Allez, vas-y Vas-y, vas-y, vas-y Et plus rapide, c'est rapide, ça En plus, c'est une tyrolienne qui descend légèrement. Hein. Voilà. Allez, tire sur les bras et sur la jambe arrière. Tu pousses avec ta jambe arrière et tu tires avec les bras. Tu pousses avec, avec la jambe arrière, tu tires avec les bras. Tire sur ta jambe arrière et arrête de faire la grimace là. Voilà. Regarde, t'as vu ton camarade derrière, il t'a rattrapé là. Oh Réfléchis pas Là, il n'y a rien à réfléchir Là, c'est un abon Hé, hey, laisse pas de ta jambe Laisse pas, et voilà Regardez Regardez tous C'est typique de quelqu'un qui n'écoute pas son instructeur Laisse pendre ta putain de jambe Laisse pendre ta jambe Laisse-la pendre Voilà Et maintenant, tu viens Allez, tire sur les bras et sur les jambes euh, Arrière Laisse pendre ta, pu ta putain de jambe Laisse-la pendre, là Laisse la pomme naturellement là. Voilà, et là tu, tu, tu tombes pas là. Ah là, il tombe. Deux fois, c'est bon. Voilà, correct. Rétablissement. Laisse pas ta jambe. Voilà, regarde, t'es tordu là. Et tu marches comme un crabe là. Il faut être droit sur la tyrolienne. T'as vu T'es tordu là. 
C'est bon, mais c'est rien ça. Allez, regarde. Allez, vas-y. Vas But today, not everyone is doing the hardcore training. For one man, it's back to more basic duties and a chance to reflect on his reasons for joining the Legion. I come to the Legion because I, like normal, I'm not a very, uh, I'm a bit misbehaved in the past. I'm 22, I'm from South Wales in our Great Britain. And right now I'm in Djibouti in North Africa. I come here because I, I got into a little bit of trouble with the police back in Great Britain. Uh, because of my criminal record, I can't get a lot of work and a lot of good jobs, things like fire service, police, ambulance, army, I can't do because of my criminal record. So I get uh, the work I do back in civil life is, is pretty crap. And now all the things that I come here to avoid doing, I'm doing exactly the same thing here. So. But it's, it's all right, it's an interesting experience. The first, I think the first five months of being in the Legion was the hardest. It was totally in the way of life to adapt to. I see three different types of people who come to the Legion. It's, they are the people who genuinely need the beer, like me, the people who are in trouble back home, the fly-by-night dreamers, the people who think they're going to be commandos, and uh, the complete fucking lunatics, and they're best avoided. I knew it was going to be challenging because of the because of the language eh? and uh, some of the exercises and the, the like the training here the the terrain is is pretty tough. The first six times I went in a plane, I didn't land in it. I jumped out. Can't do that sort of thing in civilian life. At least I can speak another language, and I suppose this is my ticket to the future. Maybe. In the future, if I go for employment, whether I go back to Britain or I stay in France, maybe they'll put my criminal record to one side and look at what I've done in the Legion. Maybe. There are many reasons for wanting to be a Legionnaire. Au civil, euh, quand euh, j'étais pas militaire, la vie là c'était difficile parce que moi je, je, moi, je, je viens de Brésil, je suis brésilien. Je suis arrivé en France à, à 17 ans avec ma mère et elle, elle se marie avec un, un français. Et comme elle, elle avait la carte de séjour, mais moi je ne pouvais pas avoir parce que j'ai fait déjà 18 ans et je ne pouvais pas être, euh, être là-bas. Et il fallait que je, je sois à l'école, mais c'était difficile parce que je parlais pas, pas bien français. Et c'est pour ça qu'il n'y avait pas autre moyen, et après je me suis engagé à la Légion. Comme ça, je reste en France avec ma mère, et je ne retourne pas au Brésil. Parce que là-bas, au Brésil, je ne pouvais, pouvais pas faire grand-chose. Je n'avais pas de famille là-bas et tout. C'était difficile. C'est pour ça que là, ici, je suis bien. Comme ça, le... Le, le, le mois, chaque mois, on, on touche une solde. La, comment on dit la solde Ah, l'argent. Et après, je vois la moitié à ma mère, comme ça, je, je l'aide chez moi, là, à la maison, et moi, l'autre la moitié, je, je la garde. Comme ça, tous les deux, tous la, tous les deux on est contents. Et c'est tout. Regarde, hey, tu n'es pas assis là où tu étais là Allez, suivant. Je t'écoute. Je t'écoute. Je prêt. Départ. Parti. Parti. Ben ouais, c'est fait deux fois que tu le dis là. Go. En haut, en haut. En haut. Vise. Voilà, allez. Lâche, lâche. Dans la pédale, tu te démerdes maintenant, mon vieux. Démerde-toi là. Ouf, 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 ouf
Il existe des femmes, mais... Il existe des femmes en Roumanie oh, oh, non, Je croyais mais... qu'il y avait que Dracula là-bas après. <rire> des femmes ou des copines Copines. Copines, oui. Chez moi, en Roumanie. <rire> ouais, bah, euh, des femmes, il y en a aussi ici en ville, non euh, quoi, sur, sur, les, sur la copine Non, moi je suis célibataire. <rire> pour l'instant, pour l'instant je, je pense qu'il y a sortir et c'est tout. Là. Après, 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 on verra. Donc ça y est. Dans, que, dans quelques, quelques, quelques temps. In the Ivory Coast, the third company of the second foreign infantry regiment has joined the peacekeeping forces. Ali soldier, English, de France. Special forces, France. Action. Bien, à partir de l'issue du rassemblement embarquement et début de l'exercice Boli. Grosso modo, quelle est la situation de l'exercice Dans les forces en présence, les FANSI ont renforcé leur dispositif suite à la sortie du processus de crise des FAFN et s'apprêtent à rentrer euh, à travers la zone de confiance pour aller mater un début de rébellion FAFN. After regaining its independence from France in 1960, the Ivory Coast was ruled by Félix Oufoué Boigny for 33 years. His time was one of growing prosperity and political stability for the country. But after his death in 1993, the nation slowly descended into chaos, with several military coups destabilizing an increasingly lawless country. Civil war broke out in the autumn of 2002, and French forces were sent in the same year. The war ended in 2005, but France has kept peacekeeping forces in the country, as tension remains high. Every village has a leader, and Rio's job is to sensitively gather information and quickly quell any fears. Pourquoi ici? la ici, de la et que si éventuellement Le gouvernement a démissionné, qu'est-ce que ça nous dit Moi je leur ai dit que bon, on compte toujours sur eux et il faut qu'ils s'entendent afin que la paix revienne en Côte d'Ivoire. Que nous sommes fatigués de subir l'effet de la guerre. Back at camp, Mazouz is on kitchen duty, preparing the evening meal. These moments of downtime are rare for a legionnaire, but a constant watch must be kept. A soldier will never know what his next move might be, and capture is always in imminent danger in a country renowned for hostage-taking during its civil war. But it's in these more reflective moments that friendships are forged that will serve them well in the heat of battle. Ici, il y a de tout. Il y a des cuisiniers, des chanteurs, des brawlers, tout ce que tu veux. Très bon Si une femme cherche l'homme parfait, je crois qu'elle a venu arracher la légion. Les gens. <rire> The life of a legionnaire can be lonely, but whatever his past circumstances, he has the chance to start again, begin a new life. Today's legionnaire not only fights on the battlefield, but also fights for the hearts and minds of the people he's been entrusted to protect, bringing hope where there was despair. And for some legionnaires, there's a chance for their own salvation.
Hello, my old man. It's just your ginger and iron brat, you, call, you know, his son. Hope you're okay and the kids are fine. I'm okay, but a lot of stress with all the constant work. My dad, he never wanted me to come. And then uh, I spoke to him, I told him why I wanted to come here. Because I've not got, obviously, people in the Legion, they don't come here because their life's great, they've come here because they've done something in the past, or they've not got the best history in the world, and I was uh, a bit of an idiot when I was young. And uh, I explained to him why I wanted to come here, and he, he agreed with me, he said give it a go. And uh, I've come here, and now he's proud of me, he's really, really proud of me, my dad and uh, my brother and all that. Hope you're okay and the kids are fine. I'm okay, but a little stress with all the constant work. You never get a rest, always on the go and on guard, but it's not too bad because I finish in three weeks and then I'll get some leave. I don't mind following the orders. I chose to come here. It's, uh, I chose to be the soldier here. Everything, everything they tell me to do, it's my decision. I chose to come here. You're a volunteer in the Legion, and that's uh, what they drill into your head all the time. But sometimes, you know, it's a job like any other, and uh, sometimes you get told to things you don't want to do. And uh, that's, uh, that annoys you, and that can really... Because sometimes it's really... The, the guys that are telling you what to do are idiots, and uh, to, to be honest with you, I need to give you some stupid orders, and that can, that's hard. The good things are you learn another language, you, you travel the world for free, uh, you, uh, you see places, even if they're like war countries, you see places that you'd never get to see in your life, and uh, it open, that kind of thing opens your eyes. It's hot as fuck today, and bright red I look like a lobster. And I've, and I've lost a, a load of weight because I can't do much sport. But it's okay, because uh, I'll get it back when I finish with it. For the first six or seven months, it was very hard. It's, uh, what, I did what I go. For the first, I wanted to desert, I wanted to go home. I just couldn't, it was just hard work, stress, just stressing it every day. You get you up at like four o'clock in the morning, or three o'clock in the morning when you've only had like two hours sleep because you've been on guard duty. You know, it made me go through ice cold rivers at uh, three o'clock in the morning, so that wasn't nice. But it's it character building. We was training yesterday, we went on another cut and I took a few pictures, I'll send them you when I get back. Well, Africa's shit, I don't like it much. The people are lazy as fuck and that's why it's so fucked up. It always will be, but I don't give a shit. It's just the kids I feel sorry for. Glory, glory, man United! Glory, glory, man United! Glory, glory, man United! And the Reds go marching! On, on, on! Anyway, I don't want to depress you, so whenever you feel down and you think life's pointless going on, just remember I've got a ginger head and can't get a fuck, and it's all your fault, but don't worry, I'm a strong lad, I can take it. Là c'était la chambre à Foster et là c'était Sally, c'était son corps à lui et là c'était son armoire, maintenant il est pris, il avait ça à faire un peu pour moi avant qu'il déserte. Voilà, il habite avec moi et il est un bon mec. Il est... Bon je sais pas pourquoi il a fait ça. Anyway, I'm off. So take care. Love John. <laughs> me, I don't care. This first weekend to get back, I'm gonna get pissed out me head. First Class Legionnaire Foster decided to leave the Legion after three years of service. As a deserter, he will be in danger of imprisonment if caught in France. And he has lost the respect of his fellow Legionnaires forever. Christmas time is a very special occasion for the family that is the Legion. But perhaps the most intense intercompany rivalry is to establish the company that can construct the finest Christmas crib. On connaît l'affaire. 
Donc c'est ici. La crèche c'est ici. Adjutant Robenheim and his platoon have been chosen to represent the third company in this year's Christmas crib competition. These traditions to the outsider may seem insignificant, but within the legion and amongst the soldiers, these customs carry great weight and responsibility. I'm explaining the work that needs to be done for the crib um, and what we're going to build here. This man is going to be the priest who is actually going to be present in the crib. Adjutant Robenheimer went to an English boarding school. Good preparation for the rigors of army life. While his parents wanted him to go to Oxford or Cambridge, he secretly dreamt of becoming a legionnaire. He has achieved the highest rank possible for an NCO, commanding 4th platoon, and now he's coming to the end of his time with the army. Captain Kutanze is commanding the 3rd Company of the 2nd Foreign Infantry Regiment. He's put his faith in Robenheimer to win the Christmas crib competition. So this morning the, the general uh, commanding the foreign legion is going to come in the, in the company for, for, for have a look of the preparation of the quich and uh, other works for, Noel, for Christmas. Robenheimer has an ambitious design for his crib and the whole venture must be planned like a military campaign if he's to succeed. And a waste of time. Wasting time, losing time. In his 20 years as a legionnaire, Robenheimer has never won the contest. Could it be, in his last year as a serving soldier, that he could eventually realize this long-held ambition? But things have not begun well. He's very far behind on an already tight schedule. We need some, some equipment to, to finish the crash properly. And so I'm going to go out and buy what we need for the, for the crash. I left England pretty much after school, so I preferred the idea of joining the Legion of the British Army. The Legion, at the time, was a lot more attractive than the British Army. Because at the time when I joined, we were still in the Cold War. Um, and the British Army was Germany and Northern Ireland, neither of which were particularly interesting. And the Legion was in Africa and running around doing all sorts of interesting things. In Djibouti, in Africa, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, CCAP, which offers perhaps the harshest military training that exists. The instructors and their methods are renowned and feared throughout the world. Snipers work in pairs, often drop behind enemy lines. They are the eyes and ears of a detachment. A fully trained sniper can take out a target from over two kilometers away. We are specialized like a sniper training. So we are for three, four on the field and everything we need it's in our sake we don't change clothes everything because it's very important to be at strictly necessary battez la main dès qu'il est en position c'est bon OK tout le tout le fort niente tranquille fluide suis OK deuxième chose dès qu'il vous tire changement de position tout de suite send two people out there you give them a map, some coordinates, and they go out there, they take every information, and they can take out this if it needs someone, or, or maybe they can uh, coordinate um, an air attack or a field attack, no problem. For that, this is the most, one of the most important things what the army has. Changement de position. Restez pas là-bas. Si vous tirez, c'est quelqu'un qui vous voit là. They must be slow and graceful. Any sudden movement can alert the enemy and lead to instant discovery and almost certain death. 
Because of his Legion training, after he leaves the army, a sniper can command rich contract as a covert operator in the murky world of the hired mercenary. Robenheimer's army of helpers are working around the clock to try to save the company's entry into this year's crib competition. The Legion tradition of doing crashes is just, it's a Legion tradition amongst all the others. Um, and like all our traditions, needs to be respected. Because when you lose one, you start losing the rest. Um, and it's very difficult to pinpoint which of the traditions are important and which of the traditions are a waste of time. And I think we've already lost some traditions and that hasn't done us a lot of good. Um, the, the Legion evolves with the world it's living in. Um, and the world that we live in is a very individualistic world where everyone is allowed to do whatever they want and be responsible for nothing. Um, and the Legion is nothing to do with that. The Legion is about everyone is responsible for everyone else and no one is allowed to do what they want. Everyone must do what they're supposed to do, which is completely in contradiction with the world today, today's moral values in the Western world. And so the traditions that we have um, help us to keep some of those moral values. What is a man searching for when he enlists in the French Foreign Legion? Sanctuary? Brotherhood? Identity? Djibouti in Africa, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, CCAP. Armies from all over the world use this renowned facility. <laughs> Captain Alio, the leader of the CCAP combat training center in Djibouti, keeps a watchful eye over its combatants. On se retrouve tout de suite après le rassemblement dans le faré. This is the ultimate examination for any soldier. Okay, mettez vous ici, face à moi. On va revoir une dernière fois le schéma du principe ce matin du travail de l'exercice parcours de tir réel de ce matin. Les farets, plages italiens, le champ de tir. Premier temps, les trois bateaux seront ici. Se mettre en appui, ici, face ici. Pas de questions it is in this exercise that the Legionnaire will be tested on all the drills and maneuvers he's practiced in the three weeks of his combat training. For the last 21 days, under the leadership of Captain Alio, the men have practiced shooting for cover and managing their ammunition. Firstly, they will demonstrate they've learned how to shoot safely and correctly from a boat. This is the ultimate examination for any soldier. Now, under pressure, they must keep their heads cool. Well, on on the first phase of the manip, the hein, exercise. En fait, on est en attente au large. On a un groupe qui est parti se mettre en bateau en appui. On attend son compte rendu pour savoir s'il a décelé de l'ennemi ou non. Et s'il a décelé de l'ennemi, on va, eh bien, on va continuer notre reconnaissance en engageant éventuellement le combat. C'est à moi d'assister. J'adore ça. 
Look, the sea, the sun, military, the famous, beautiful life. <laughs> sure. Disposition de combat pour tout le monde. Ok, après la route, on va bien sur la prise en place. Début coup par coup, distance environ 1200 mètres. Il y a des, euh, deux, donc, deux Zodiacs qui vont arriver par la plage. Effectif euh, une, une, une section. Débarquer sur la plage, prendre la, prendre la plage d'assaut. Two Zodiac boats attack the enemy beach. Using live ammunition, the group on the hill will act as backup and give covering fire as the sections disembark. Les quatre cibles au bord de la plage, vous ne tirez pas jusqu'à moi dans les ordres. They will have to implement correctly, with great speed and fluency, all the skills that they've been taught. In combat, there is no room for failure, and the exercises are designed as intense physical and mental challenges. Une fois que l'assaut est fini, fouille de zone. Ensuite, rembarquement dans le Zodiac. Et au moment où ils embarquent, les, euh, les, les gens qui sont ici appuient l'embarquement le, euh, de la section. Voilà, c'est quelque chose de simple, rapide, efficace. <rire> After the attack is finished, they must re-embark using smoke grenade screens as cover and advancing in combat in a synchronized way whilst remembering to keep in their line formations. Objective in the first fumigène. Allez, première et d'autres premiers en place. Attendez le deuxième. Consommation 50%. Levez les chargeurs. Coup de sécurité. Les chefs. Les chefs. Ok, coupe le moteur. C'était bien, mais il y a deux choses qui me gênent. Pourquoi on jette des fumigènes Pourquoi Pour pouvoir partir en étant caché. Alors si vous ne jetez pas la fumigène devant vous et que vous n'attendez pas qu'il y ait de la fumée, regardez, regardez, on a le temps. Il faut attendre qu'il y ait de la fumée et après on part. Si vous jetez et que vous partez, l'ennemi vous tire. Donc il ne faut pas être pressé. On jette le fumigène à 10 mètres, on attend que ça fume bien. Au moment donné, vous avez vu, il y avait un trou. Il y en a un qui n'a pas jeté devant lui. Ok, le sergent, il est obligé d'en jeter un autre. Ça, c'est pas bon. Ok, combien il reste de fumigène Il reste combien en tout 1, 1, 2, 0. Les munitions, c'est bon Vous avez géré Ok, écoutez-moi bien. Écoutez-moi bien. Je donne l'ordre à tout le monde, quand on est presque arrivé à la plage, de tirer toutes les munitions. Toutes les munitions.
Robenheimer is also on a mission. That's going to be for the sunset. Good lighting works, bad lighting is a disaster. Even with the general due to inspect the unfinished crib and the possibility that they might not be able to proceed, Robenheimer can see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Lieutenant Ryu is also making festive plans. This is his fourth Christmas as platoon leader, having joined the Legion direct from France's prestigious military academy, Saint Cyr. For the next week, we have three main uh, activities. First, the crib. Uh, secondly, the, um, the sketch for the Christmas night. And uh, finally, the um, Christmas uh, platoon bar. I'm I was in my house. I was in the army and I had to go to the Il n'y avait pas de place. Alors, et un jour j'étais à internet, tac, et je ne sais pas pourquoi, il est venu dans ma tête les mots les gens étrangères, même pas qu'est-ce que c'est passeport. Et là j'étais là-bas et... et voilà, c'est deux ans, deux ans, trois mois, je suis là. Enfin, on ne sait pas si on a des soldats ou si on a des. Si on est dans une école en train de faire des maquettes, quoi, un truc de fou. Moi, je préférais bien être sur le terrain là en train de faire de l'entraînement, on croit pas. Pas ici en train de faire des maquettes, quoi. Captain Coutance is in charge of discipline, so it's a nervous wait for three legionnaires outside the captain's office. One waits for promotion. But is his French good enough? A legionnaire must learn to speak French from the moment he enlists. Otherwise, he's severely dealt with. The legion protects its own. They will give you a new identity if that helps you break with the past. And if you prove yourself, you can then apply to have your real name back. Legionnaire de Crimea Cosatama. Un an, six mois de service, troisième compagnie, section de l'envoyé, fonction, pilote VAP, à vos hommes, capitaine. Parce que bientôt je vais à un stage caporal. Il m'a dit ça. Bon, notamment, il m'a dit justement enfin, un problème médical à la compagnie, d'accord Donc ton tour de CE avance. C'est mon niveau de français, c'est pour moi, ça, pour, 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 ça suffit, mon capitaine. Je parle français. Je peux expliquer mon problème. Oui, je sais bien. Je fais me donne mon nom, la vraie, la vraie nom, le nom de CV. Donc tu vas lire consciencieusement ton papier, d'accord. De toute façon, à ce que ton ton nom soit pas écorché pendant un an. Tu lis, d'accord. Tu vérifies l'orthographe. Voilà. On va donner les noms, c'est tout. Je vais signer un papier. Euh, oui, d'accord. The third legionnaire wants permission to buy a car. Sergeant Mitishnikovs, 5 ans, 3 mois de service, 6 mois de grade, 3 ème compagnie, 6 chefs de l'Union, fonction, chef de groupe, à son côté. Mais trop beau. Je mets pas à son côté. In the Legion, for the first 5 years of service, a soldier cannot buy a car, a mobile phone, or even get married without permission from his commanding officer. For a platoon leader to lose one of his soldiers dampens the Christmas spirit. For any family to lose one of its sons is a tragedy. To desert from the Legion is failure and breaks the bond of brotherhood that makes the Legion strong. So when we have, uh, when one, when one journey uh, flee, we have to write a paper like uh, this with uh, different information about uh, him, because uh, this night one of my legionnaires flee. So I have uh, to do this paper now. The Legion consists of so many young men from so many different cultures and countries. 
their reasons for coming as myriad as their reasons for staying. All have left their old family behind to join the Legion. What binds the Legion together is its codes and customs. It's these rituals that unites the family of the Legion. General Pichot de Champfleury is simply the father of the Legion. This will be his 15th year spent amongst his soldiers, but his first as a general in charge. In the Legion, a general is allowed to serve only three years, but in his short tenure he will look to encourage and support his sons, the Legionnaires. The, the general commanding the foreign legion is used to coming into all regiments, uh, all legion regiments, uh, about uh, twice or three, four times in a year. La visite du général qui commande la légion pour Noël, pour les légionnaires, c'est le père de famille qui vient voir un peu ses, ses enfants. Je ne viens pas pour les voir travailler, euh, ça j'ai d'autres occasions dans l'année pour le faire. Je viens simplement pour leur dire, je suis avec vous, au milieu de vous, et on va tous faire Noël ensemble. C'est la mise en condition pour passer des super fêtes de Noël et une super soirée de Noël tous ensemble. Ouais, donc vous êtes rentré mardi, donc ça fait deux jours que vous êtes là. Voilà, et depuis deux, deux jours, jours, tout le monde travaille. Et en deux jours, vous avez déjà lancé tout ça, quoi. Oui. Et vous allez travailler toute la journée, probablement un peu pendant la nuit. Ouais. With the general's inspection underway, and all the other platoon cribs near completion, Robenheimer still has nothing to show for all his efforts. Not good. Not good. Too much work. Not enough men. Too much work, not enough men. A nightmare. Everything is under control. <laughs> the Legion march at 88 paces per minute, rather than the usual 120. This has been a strong Legion tradition throughout the ages. While the general is enjoying the Christmas crib presentations from the other companies, Robenheimer is not yet nearly ready. Daniel, tu tu réalises des centontes avec tes gros doigts et tes gros bras, tu fais des centontes aussi fins. De Saint Joseph, je suis assez impressionné. Attends, on va me le chercher là, on va voir. Montre le moi. Et il y a combien de personnages dans ta crèche Tu vas en faire combien des centaines euh, Trois rois mages, mm -hmm. Gaspard, Mac, euh, mm -hmm. Macœur et Balthazar, euh, mm -hmm. Joseph, Vierge Marie bien sûr, et mm -hmm. petit Jésus, et puis on va, on, on va, on va voir combien ça me reste un jour à l'argile. Tu es de quelle nationalité Je suis polonais. Oui, polonais. Oui, oui, oui. <rire> <rire> C'est du chocolat. <rire> Bravo. Mais le plus important, c'est le moment où on fait la crèche. Parce que c'est le, le moment où l'idée jaillit. C'est la cohésion de, de toute l'équipe, de toute la section pour monter tout ça. C'est les différents talents qui se conjuguent pour sortir un projet final abouti. C'est ça qui est. Ouais, non, mais est euh, à la limite, quand elle est faite. En fait, c'est génial de regarder. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ah, on va aller voir la, les projets de la première. Ouais. Captain Guéry, commandant de la première compagnie, à vous en manger. Hein. Bonjour. Mais devant. Là, il euh, y a eu des combats, là. Il hein. y a les, les études de munitions qui, qui sont ouvertes. Il y a un bidon qui a explosé. Hein. Et toi, tu as déjà fait des crèches C'est la première fois. D'accord. Ça te plaît Tu fais quoi dans la crèche, toi tu, fais le... tu as compris ma question Qu'est-ce que tu as préparé pour la crèche 
Les arbres, le... Oui. oui. Je dis oui pour me faire plaisir. <rire> Toi, tu as fait quoi dans la crèche Toi, quoi Tu as fait quoi J'ai fait là-bas. Là-bas oui. Ça Non. D'accord, le sol. Allez, bah je te souhaite bonne chance. Et l'année prochaine, tu parleras un peu mieux français, hein, sinon. Oui, mon général. Tu ne seras pas caporal. <rire> ok. Allez, c'est parti. On y va. Joyeux Noël. <rire> Christmas is stressful for all families, including Robenheimer's family of men working flat out to be ready for the competition. Mon impression, c'est que je suis toujours émerveillé par la quantité d'amour et d'énergie qu'ils mettent dans l'élaboration des crèches. Euh, ils ont une imagination, ils ont un souci du détail. Euh, des... Moi, je suis toujours éberlué. Euh, des années après, je ne me lasse pas d'aller voir leurs crèches et surtout de me faire expliquer comment les idées leur en sont venues et qu'est-ce que ça rappelle chez eux dans leur vie antérieure. Euh... The general is due at any moment and could possibly close the whole operation down if Robenheimer cannot persuade him that his crib will be completed by Christmas Eve. Allez, en cours de création. En cours de création. Alors, elle va ressembler à quoi là Je vois des avions, je vois des, des VAB. Alors, le, le thème, c'est la. Enfin, ça s'intitule la dernière prière. La dernière prière. La dernière avant prière. Quoi euh, avant quoi Avant l'extinction de la vie d'un vieux pape missionnaire de l'Afrique voilà. et qui va remémorer un peu certains événements où les missionnaires sont venus. Donc là, on aura un petit tableau. Euh, Opération euh, Taco. Ouais. Euh, ici, il y aura l'opération Pelican. Ouais. Et puis, euh, l'opération euh, euh, en Côte d'Ivoire. Je sais qui a eu l'idée. C'est euh, mon idée. D'accord. Et eux, ils réalisent. Ils sont, Et ils sont des ouvriers qui, euh, ouais. qui bossent comme des malades. Ouais. Et le pavé, c'est. Il faut, vous savez qu'il faut qu'elle soit prête pour le 24 quand même. Hein On va en bosser jusqu'à minuit, je pense. Okay. Allez, ben c'est bon. Ben, courage et puis continuez. Si je ne les... m'inquiète pas pour le 24, mais je ne fais pas, pas d'illusion sur leurs horaires. Voilà. Vous allez faire 35 heures en deux jours, quoi, c'est ça Je pense, oui. Voilà, je bien. Allez, je vous souhaite bonne chance. Merci. Hein. Joyeux Noël, à l'avance de la part du général qui commande à l'Égypte. Salut. Allez, au revoir et bonne chance. Merci. Ah oui. This crash is uh, coming on, but we are now the 22nd and it's got to be finished in 48 hours. The Djibouti obstacle course has prepared the company for skirmishes in Somalia and Rwanda. Lessons learned here will be invaluable to the serving soldier who finds himself in the midst of conflict. Les gars, quand vous arrivez déjà à mon niveau, vous serrez bien les noms. Hein? Bon, aujourd'hui, là, on vient de finir l'exercice de groupe. Bon, ça veut dire 
ici et il faut qu'on fasse euh, tout le monde ensemble, groupé. Parce qu'ici on essaye de faire individuel, euh, ça ne marche pas. C'est trop, trop difficile. J'ai déjà essayé, ça n'a ça pas marché. Y a-t-il des blessés depuis ce matin Les gens qui est blessé depuis ce matin Non 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 Ok. The team have to complete the course in less than an hour. In daytime, with an instructor, the task is grueling enough. But a true legionnaire must be able to complete the course at night, under a blanket of impenetrable darkness, forbidden to communicate with anyone. In this situation, the task is treacherous. The course tests the legionnaire's ability to work together, to call on unknown reserves of strength. Un qui monte sur l'épaule, il garde les poignets, comme ça il peut pousser, parce qu'en même temps on tire et eux ils poussent. Allez, je te, je te monte, tu passes les sons par les... Allez. In a time test, over a similar course in French Guiana, a legionnaire unit took 45 minutes to complete the test. Whereas the U.S. Marines no, took seven no, hours. The record is 32 minutes. These legionnaires of the 13th Half Brigade in Djibouti owe their brave reputation as a notable fighting force to the legionnaires of 1940. In Norway, the regiment battled through freezing temperatures to turn the tide of the Second World War. Norway, with its long Atlantic coast, was considered a zone of destiny by Hitler. And the city of Narvik was in particular of strategic importance, as German munitions factories were dependent on Swedish iron ore shipped from the port. The 13th Half Brigade was deployed by France to help take back the city. It was to be the first direct land confrontation between the Allies and the Nazis. While the British Navy gave covering fire, the 13th Half Brigade landed at Bjerkvik, just outside of Narvik. They moved toward the city together with a battalion of Norwegian Defence Forces. In one of the most heroic moments of the Half Brigade's history, they drove the Germans out of Narvik and towards the Swedish border. Les bombes tombent sur la ville. Le pire est à craindre car l'incendie trouve une proie facile avec les maisons de deux étages. But news that Hitler had invaded France caused the immediate withdrawal of the Legion, and the momentum was lost. However, such damage had been done to the German forces that Hitler's plans to invade Britain had to be halted. Also, without the supply of Swedish iron ore, German war production was set back. Although Hitler regained control of Narvik in the end, the bravery of the legionnaires of the 13th Half Brigade is still remembered today with awe and admiration. It's the morning of Christmas Eve, and the final fateful day of the crib competition. For most legionnaires, it's the breaking of a new day. But for first-class legionnaire Moreira, it's the closing of a very long night. It's not the top. You work? You work? No, no, no. I was in the for the first five years of service, legionnaires must live in dorms in the confines of their barracks. It can make it very difficult to have a normal social life. Good morning. I'm not of the morning. <laughs> Pas avant 7 heures. Pas avant 7 heures. Après le premier café, bien sûr.
Legionnaires are allowed to leave the regiments if they're not on duty. Si on commence toujours trop tôt là, mais on n'a pas des horaires pour finir quoi. C'est comme ça. Il faut être militaire, mais il faut être civil en même temps. Sinon, ça marche pas trop là. Après, on devient trop. Trop dur dans la tête, c'est pas bien. C'est pas ça que je veux là, tous les temps. J'ai envie bien d'avoir une famille là, aussi, c'est bon. Si on est 100% militaire là, après, ça marche pas. Robenheimer studies the panel of distinguished judges. He hopes to impress them with his crib by portraying past missions in Chad. Congo and the Ivory Coast. Now, if we've done something that's completely different, that's great, because that will grab their attention and they'll think, wow, it's great. Uh, if they're completely bored and we do another thing, they've already seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven others the same, they'll just go, hmm. So, um, we can take a look at what's been done so far. And we should now be almost ready. Crash, troisième compagnie, section de la pluie. And here, there is still work going on because the VAB is not working terribly well. The VAB is the um, centerpiece, it's the grand finale of the of that crash. This is the soundtrack that I spent all afternoon and all night yesterday making. It, this, this part works. It's, uh, the sound is nice, we've got the volume soft down, we've got an acceptable sound system. The uh, problem is just getting that fab to work properly. Robenheimer is having to rely on two young German recruits for the successful outcome of his piece de resistance in the competition. What? He's hoping that the renowned Teutonic methodical and mechanical expertise will save the day. For observers, the Christmas crib competition may seem superficial, but for Robenheimer, it gives him a chance to leave a mark, the merest dimple in the sand of time that is the history of the Legion. 38 and 19 and a half years in the Legion is quite old. It'll be 39 when I leave. I'll still be young. Even if there were English speakers in my platoon, I would still speak. French to them. The Slovak is in my section as well. He also has a very poor level in French and he prefers to speak with Slovakian, uh, Slovakian friends and then try and mix with someone. I mean, he could, if he spoke to a Chinese man, that would do fine because they'd obviously have to end up speaking French. So he can speak to anyone he wants. He shouldn't speak to his fellow Slovakians, but he does. And so he's well behind on French. And he's not helping himself, and his friends aren't helping him by talking to him in Slovakian. But he doesn't realize that. But that's quite, quite 